Hello, today's video is on stock number 36139ME, the uh, multi-purpose DC panel meter. I uh, thought I'd make a video just showing you the unit itself and, and how to program it. I think that probably causes people the most problems with units like this, so well, let's get to it. As you can see, the four buttons, plus, minus, SW, and on. It's displaying a voltage because I have this hooked up to my benchtop power supply and the output hooked up to the little panel meter, uh, little digital multimeter, just to show you give you a visual reference. Right now it's it's the output is off, so it's it's nothing's nothing's flowing through. Uh, as is, you can just hit the on button and you see a little output comes on, out, and a green LED and the meter's the displaying voltage. There again, press again, turn it off. Uh, let's see the unit itself. I took the back off so you can get a look at the inside. Uh, you have your, your input, output, little alarm. Uh, it's designed to fit in a cutout. Uh, let's see, it's about uh, 75 millimeter by 39 millimeter cutout. Has little ear tabs to, to lock the unit in place. Okay, let's get into the programming. If you press and hold the on button for three seconds, one, two, three, and release. You see the little set button. Uh, comes factory set for the first program at off. That is um, when you power the unit up, the output is off. You press the on button quickly once, it changes it to on. Now when you power the unit up, it will uh, turn on its on the load. So let's go ahead and try that real quick. Press and hold the on button for one, two, three. Okay, now if I turn power off to the unit, and turn it back on, it automatically comes on with the output running. That's how the first one, first program. Press and hold, one, two, three. Second program, uh, one short press of the SW button, and you come to uh, low voltage protection. Uh, it comes factory set at 4.8 volts. I just raised it to 9 volts so we can play with it. Uh, you have the plus and minus buttons on the side to change it. Okay, that's low voltage. Press the SW button again. This is over voltage. There again, it comes factory set at 38 volts. I just lowered it to 16, just so we can we'll show, it, show it in operation here in a moment. Oops, 16. Okay, SW again. This is an over current protection. Uh, since we just have it hooked up to digital multimeter, it comes factory set at 5.5 amps. So there again, you can change it with the plus and minus buttons. I'm just, yeah, there's no, no need to set that. Oops. Press it again. This is an overpower protection. Uh, it comes factory set at 200 watts. There again, you can press minus the, and set it whatever watt rating, uh, watt rating you want. Press the SW button again. Now this, it gets into an over temperature protection. It comes factory set at 80 degrees Celsius, uh, but the low, low point is 40. That's just an air temperature. Uh, there must be a little thermistor on the back here somewhere, but it's not what the temperature battery is. Please understand that. That's air temperature. Next, uh, this is it comes factory set it off. This is a, uh, a timer. If you press the on button once, it turns on, you see it has one minute resolution, and there again you can raise it. Now this will, if you want to limit how long your how long your load is on, on your battery as such, uh, that this is set at 31 minutes, it has one minute resolution. If you don't want that, press the on button again, it turns it off. Last but not least is a max discharge. Uh, it comes factory set off, press the on button once, and you see it has 0.01 uh, milliamp hour resolution. There again, press and hold, if you want to raise it, or just hit the on button again to turn it off. Okay, that's all the programs. If you want to go back into operation mode, just press and hold the on button. Four. Okay, output's on, so you can see that it's hooked up to the meter. So it's usually best to program this not hooked up to a load, just for safety. Okay, so let's see. I will go. I'm turn up my benchtop power supply here. It's the over voltage is set at 16 volts. Okay, and as soon as you hit that point, uh, this alarm is it, it disconnects your load. 
uh, it flashes and beeps and it's going to keep doing that until you press the on button once. As you see it is no longer, it's still not hooked up uh, even if you have to get back below. Let's turn it back on. Now if you go over 16 volts again, disconnects. Now I'm turning down my benchtop power supply which you can see even though I'm now below 16 volts, I'm at uh, just under 15 volts. It keeps beeping and it's disconnected a load, so back on. See, I'm at 15 volts. So it, once it hits that alarm set point, uh, you, even if the voltage drops back down, it's it will keep 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 uh, sounding. Now the lower point was what nine volts, the low voltage, same situation. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, even though it's set at nine volts, I am not hooked up to my output. So it will not trigger. So let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm already below the low voltage point, so I'm going to turn it above nine. Keep sounding to press. So now if we get below, once again, you gotta have that loaded on. Let me see. And the low voltage will, just like the high, will just keep beeping no matter what happens until you press the on button again and the load is disconnected. Okay, that is all the programming of the unit. Uh, hopefully this will answer your questions. If you have any more, let us know. And thank you for watching our video.